Hello, my name is Eloy Oliveira. I'm the executive director of Republica.org, a Brazilian private foundation focused on improving public service by investing in people, by investing in, in HR. And I'm recording this video for the Social Equity Leadership Conference. I have here my computer with my, uh, my slides so I can uh, talk with more insights about the subject. I'm here, uh, the title of my paper is The Brazilian Public Spirit Award, how awards can be used to create awareness, raise morale, fight corruption and inspire a new generation of public servants. And I'm here uh, to talk about the Public Spirit Award, which is an award I helped create in 2018 in Brazil, and which is aimed uh, to improve uh, the public service. It's a way to recognize and celebrate the best public servants in the country. And we are now going to the third year of the award. And it's quite, uh, we have quite interesting uh, results and I would like to share them with you. Uh, so taking a couple of steps back, uh, awards and prizes, they are not something new. Just to give a couple of examples, the Nobel Prize, it was created in 1901, the Pulitzer, 1917, and the Oscar, uh, 1927. So they have been around for, for a long time. But awards focused on the public sector, uh, that's something uh, I consider quite new especially awards to celebrate uh, public employees and public servants. Uh, and I truly believe and I have uh, experienced that they can really uh, change the way people see public sector. So it's a way to call attention. It's a way to showcase best practices and also break misconceptions. Uh, in there, there, there are several uh, not-for-profits around the world using awards uh, to improve public sector. And I'll, I'll tell you in details about the Brazilian case, but I'll also mention some other cases that, that have inspired us along the way. So uh, in Brazil, uh, we, we have a really uh, hard time uh, to making people to trust in government. So people really believe, they really think that governments are not trustworthy. We have had uh, several corruption scandals in the country in the past few years. There is a, a quite recent survey uh, that says that 75% of Brazilians, they think that government uh, does not pri prioritize the concerns of people. And also uh, the same survey showed that 75% of Brazilians believe that excess of bureaucracy creates a lot of harmful and it creates a lot of harm and it uh, helps to like it facilitates corruption. So uh, and I, I must say that I, I have I have uh, work at the at the government. I have I have served as a public servant for almost a decade. Uh, before uh, joining the foundation and I that's not what I have seen like firsthand uh, at the government I, I've, I saw a lot of uh, really dedicated people and really capable people working for the government and so at the foundation we were looking for ways uh, to change that misconception uh, so in 2008 we gather a consortium of over 20 NGOs and foundations uh, in order to start the Public Spirit Award. And it, it was the first time in the country that we saw a nationwide uh, award for public servants. There are a couple of small awards located in, in some places around the, the country. And we, we also managed to, to gather some international partners, such as The Guardian from the UK, The Guardian 
As a matter of fact, they also have their own award focused on public servants. And we use the award, the award to address the trust and transparency issue by celebrating the best public servants in the country and in increasing the, the, the trust ac across the public sector. So uh, what we wanted to do was to showcase some of the best public servants in the country. And by doing that, by showing people uh, the, the, the great examples we see within the public sector, we wanted to change the way the, the Brazilians see public service as a whole. And uh, the first year of the award, 2018, we received over a thousand applicants from all the 27 states of Brazil, which was quite amazing. Uh, so the, the first step, the applicants, they had to, to complete an online application and answer a lot of questions, a lot of hard questions. Uh, after that, an internal team uh, would screen the applications uh, in, order, in order to filter uh, for eligibility criteria. For example, uh, one of the criteria is that the people had to, to be working for the public sector for more than 10 years. We wanted to uh, find the people that really dedicate their lives and their careers to public service. And this is one of the eligibility criteria. After that, uh, the, the successful applicants, uh, the applications, we would, we would send them to a team of over 160 jurors uh, to evaluate and to read all the documents and to understand if the, the, the candidates were up to the prize. And they had to do this evaluation uh, based on four criteria. So the first one, uh, the, their ability to inspire others within their team. So we wanted to find people that would uh, also inspire uh, other public servants. The second one, uh, the contribution in a specific technical areas. So we wanted to, to find people that were really creating uh, new technologies and creating new methodologies to improve public service. The third one, the impact of their work on society, and this is crucial. Uh, if you're working at the public sector, you must be uh, you must be creating impact for society. And the fourth one, uh, we wanted to 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 see if these people had moments of overcoming overcoming and resilience in favor of the country. We want people that. Uh, were resilient and uh, that would not give up when they find the, the first obstacle. So these were the four criteria. After that, uh, and they would they would uh, give points to each of these criteria on the evaluation. So uh, after that, we had a short list uh, that would go to a final jury of really, uh, really well-known uh, retired public servants, scholars, and even for former ministers, uh, 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 state ministers, and they would choose the three uh, winners of the award. We used the same methodology for 2018, we used the same methodology for 2019, and we are about to use uh, about the same methodology for, for 2020 and it's it's been quite successful uh, so the 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 awardees uh, besides being put uh, like uh, to national media going on cover of papers and magazines and so on and so forth they would also win uh, an immersive experience and this was uh, this was uh, one of the key points of our uh, we, we also wanted to, we, we wanted to use the stories, the public servants' stories, as an inspiration for society, but we wanted to give something back to that people for their contributions and for, for their, their work. So we created uh, this immersive experience, which was uh, take the awardees to, to get to know uh, another country that excels within their public sector. So in, the, in 2018, we took the, the 12 awardees to the UK 
the whole trip and the whole experience was organized by the Guardian and they had the opportunity to have some classes with uh, top professors in the UK and also to visit some public departments and learn best practice and take that those best practice home and take that experience home. So uh, it, it was the first time some of them were traveling abroad. Uh, so it was quite impactful. In 2019, we took the, the 18 winners. We increased the award in 2019. We took them to Berlin. We had a partnership with the Hertie School of Governance and the Hertie School organized again a whole week of classes with uh, top professors there and also visit to public departments. Uh, the impact of the award is amazing. And uh, one of the winners in 2018, uh, her story was so uh, strong, she's a professor, uh, was so impactful that she inspired a movie director that decided to record her story and, and to show that to other people and to inspire other people uh, by doing that. So this, this is the case of Brazil. This is the case of the Brazilian Public Spirit Award. But Brazil is not alone. Like uh, when we were designing the, the award, we, we, we could follow the steps of other similar, similar awards and learn with them. Uh, and I can, I can, I can uh, tell about a few of them. One of them is the Samuel Heyman Service to American Medals, uh, aka the Samis Award, that is organized by the Partnership for Public Service. And they are in the US, they are based in Washington, DC. Uh, the Samis, it was created in 2002. And it has a, a quite, quite similar goal to the Public Spirit Award which is to showcase and celebrate the best public servants in the country and to inspire a new generation of public servants. Uh, also, another, another uh, interesting award is the Int Integrity Idols, uh, which was launched in 2014 by the Accountability Lab. And it's an international award focused on finding uh, public, public servants in developing countries that show a lot of integrity in places that are, that are well known for lack of integrity and for corruption. So uh, they, they did the, the integrity idols in Nepal, Liberia, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nigeria, Mali, South Africa and Mexico. And it's, it's, it has a lot of results. Uh, finally, uh, we, can, we can also mention the Global Teacher Prize which is an award that it's not only focused on public servants, but uh, in professionals from the, the field of education and especially uh, from public schools. It's also uh, an international award. It was created in 2014 by the Varki Foundation, and it, it wants to celebrate and to recognize the best teachers uh, in the world. Uh, and it's quite amazing. Uh, and if you're interested in, in starting your own award for, uh, for public servants, uh, I can give you some, some, some advice on that. So I think there are, there are three main points uh, that you th should think of. First of them is to define your, your goal, to define what you want with this award. There are uh, plenty of different uh, kinds of awards. There are recognition awards, there are incentive awards, and there are resource awards. So if you want uh, people to do new things or to solve problems, you should do an incentive award. So that's the goal. If you want to, do, to celebrate, to recognize, you should do a recognition award. And also, if you want to uh, stimulate people to start doing uh, uh, things that you want, you can do a resource award. Uh, and that's, I think that's, that's where you should start by, by understanding your final goal. Uh, after that, the second step is to align your, your goal with your strategy and create, and, and create and understand the criteria 
you need to take into consideration to achieve that that uh, that goal. So, for instance, uh, we wanted to celebrate uh, people that dedicate their lives in Brazil for public service. So, one of the criteria that we establish is that uh, that people had to have at least ten years of experience within the public sector. We did, we did not want to have people with only one or two years of public service. We wanted to have people that have dedicated at least a decade. Uh, so that's uh, one of the ways that we aligned our, our goal with our method. And also finally, You need, to, you need to understand how you will award these people. Uh, uh, what is what they're going to take from, from, from that. So uh, do you want them to get money? You can give them money, like the, the Global Teacher Prize, for instance. It gives $1 million to the winner every year, to the professor that, uh, that has uh, contributed more to education, to the educational field. And they are and they are able to use that money to uh, to improve their 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 programs, what they are doing within their country, and amplify their impact. So in this case, they chose to give money. In our case, we decided that what we wanted to uh, to to give was a place where these people could share their experience. Uh, so we, 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 we worked a lot to connect them to the media, to the newspapers, to TV shows, so they could serve as inspirational, uh, inspiration to other people. And we also wanted to give them an experience that they would never forget. And that's why we took them to, to the UK and we took them to Berlin, to Germany. Uh, it, might, it might sound simple, simple, but it takes a lot of planning. And that's, uh, I think it's my, my final advice here. Uh, before starting the Public Spirit Award, uh, we planned and we studied the subject for at least one year. Uh, because there are, there are many variables involved. Uh, and, and still, we are still, we are still learning. We're going through the third year and we are uh, still learning that uh, our more variables, there are more things involved this year for 2020 uh, because of the, the COVID pandemic. We decided uh, to, to also call attention to the public service servants that are serving and that are helping to fight uh, COVID-19. So that's something we want to celebrate this year. We want to showcase some of the people that are really leading uh, the positive impact on this case and uh, I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions uh, that you have if you want to get in touch with me my email is eloy e -L -O -Y, dot oliveira o-l-i-v-e-i-r-a at republica.org thank you very much